Hey folks, so today I made the first use of the 9 euro trick ticket. What the hell did I say there? Trick ticket? I didn't even notice that in the moment. I meant 9 euro, 9 euro train ticket. The small village of Gardelagen. Um, I'm going to a little festival today. And I don't have my microphone, so the sound quality is a little less than normal, but um, I do plan on making some sort of small compilation thing for today, and I'm pretty excited. Um, old East Germany is much different than the Western parts. So uh, in the future, I will try to make some more trips and uh, do some more sightseeing and all that stuff so but today it's festival time yeah okay i'm walking down this path on the way to the festival grounds and i can hear the first band just starting um it's only maybe like a 20 15 to 20 minute walk from the bahnhof first i went over to like 10 minutes in the other direction is a little uh, Kaufland, not little. You all know Kaufland is kind of a bigger store, but uh, I went there to get a little bit of food because I didn't eat enough before I left Hanover. And um, I wanted to show you my, this is such a beautiful walk. And this is, walking here is a good reason to look at the maps, okay? Because the Google directions told me to follow the street and then I wouldn't have this. Anyway, I wanted to tell you quick, if you don't know, I mentioned the nine euro ticket. If you're not in Germany, um, then maybe you don't know, uh, for the months of June, July, and August, they offer a nine euro flat rate ticket for the trains, covers buses to city and regional. Um, so I'm gonna try to do a lot of traveling. Um, I have not yet. I used it. I bought the ticket and like made one little tram trip within Hanover. <laughs> but I didn't want to go on this first week, you know, like everybody going to Sult the holiday weekend. And I was like, no, forget that. Like, no. I will. I will try to save. I have the opportunity now to at the moment opportunity I will do most of the traveling during the week when there's less people so like today the train from Hanover to Wolfsburg was not packed and then of course the little train from there to Gardelagen where I'm at was also not packed so all of these horror stories that they're telling you like maybe stay off of the main routes <laughs> like of course on the weekends at the busy times it's going to be busy it's going to be slammed so anyway um i think i turned the corner and the festival is probably right there so i'll let you go i'll check in later <laughs> Okay, so guess what? I'm not at the festival anymore. And let me tell you why. First, take a guess where I'm at. If you know Hanover, you know where I'm at. So I'm not at the festival anymore. And uh, see, I went there just for the one day. I knew that it was going to be like roughly 12 hours. I didn't need to take anything with me. And I left home with a full battery on the phone. And I thought, okay, this won't be a problem. But uh, it was. I really should have just put the power bank in my pocket. And I didn't do that. So I had very little battery. I actually ran out really fast. I was really surprised because I didn't, I wasn't thinking about it. And very quickly it was gone. 
once I started, like I made the first couple couple clips that you saw already, and once I started filming some of the bands, I think it was three in the afternoon and I was already at 50% battery. And I was like, oh shit. So then I put it on airplane mode and that helped a little bit. I thought it was because I was in a spot with weak reception, but I still lost battery so fast. And it was because I was like making video. And every time that I looked at the screen, like, because it was a sunny day, uh, stupid me. Anyway, so, yeah, so now I make a little recap. The reason I went for one day was for a few bands, but primarily one. Oh, I got to see some old friends. I made some new friends. One of the bands playing that was shown in that mosh pit clip, they were old friends of mine. Another band played who I played a gig with before the pandemic, so it was awesome to see them again. This time we got to hang out a little, little bit more. Um, I saw another band from Cologne that I had been wanting to see. Maybe the wind is blowing on the mic. Um, yeah, but uh, Masters of Ceremony with Sasha Payet. If any of you listen to like power metal or something, maybe you know who Sasha Payet is. He's been around for a long time. Great guitarist, uh, producer, uh, the guy's awesome. But the singer Adrian Cohen is someone who I've been a fan of for like five years. She's one of the few people that I support on Patreon and I've, I've met her before. Like if you follow my Instagram, I met her at the Vinox Mark last year. Wow, fanboy. I knew that she, like, she comes through here a lot because, because she flies into Hanover when she goes to visit Sasha. So like, I've known so many times like when she comes here and wanting to say, like, wanting to hear her sing. Like in 2017, around the time that I moved to Germany, I was so bored with music. Like, it was like a rough spot. Like I, I needed something a bit different to expand what I was listening to. Um, and I heard some of her sing. There was a couple videos, I don't remember what came first. Like there was one where she was singing a, doing a cover song, and then two from her own band called Seven Spires. It took me into a different direction with some of like the melodic metal that I typically don't listen to. And once I started following her, I think first on Instagram, I think I was following her on Instagram. And I, like, she was working with different projects and became a big inspiration to me because I was here in a new place working on different projects. So it was, for me, it was uh, like an inspiration. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. 2018, I saw a post that she was, she had flown into, ha in, into Hanover and like, I had a concert around that time and I tried inviting her to my concert. I had no idea, like I didn't know who she was with. Like I knew that she came and was working with something, with somebody and I had no idea that it was Sasha Payet and like doors were opening. Like you know, I think the following year she began singing with Aventasia as a backup singer. So like, she was in the middle of something big and here's little old me like, oh, you should come to Hanover. You're, you're nearby, you should come and see my band play. Because of her, I've kind of fallen in love with Sasha's guitar sound. Um, I'm listening a little bit to Aventasia. It's still not really my thing, but also because of her and that, 
I ended up meeting another singer who she works with in Avantasia, Herbie Longhans, and I've mentioned him in the past. If you watch my Krauts a lot videos, I had a video with him and we drank some Vakken beer. That was cool. Um, yeah, so this one little girl opened up so much for me and in as far as my interests. And then along that way, also being like an inspiration and motivation as she was like working her ass off and being in so many different projects. Like to recap, during that time, I performed in Hanover with five different bands. So like, I was also doing too much. Like that was, that was stupid, ridiculous. Like now I've got two and I think I want to keep it at that for a while. It wasn't five at the same time. Over the course of, from July 2017 up until the pandemic, it, I performed with five different bands. So, anyway, seeing her perform on stage finally after five years of fandom uh, was awesome. Like, I had goosebumps. I had, I was holding back some tears. It was like, I'm the type that, cr I, I'll, I will cry at a concert. When the music is so good, I'll, I will cry. So, yeah, so for me, that was, that was the peak. And then once they're caught, like they played in the middle of the afternoon, basically. And then after that, I was just, it was just all fun for me. And then I got drunk with the blood spot guys, primarily. <laughs> but that was all good. So, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's all I have to say about that. So, um, I bid you all a good day. And just next to them all.